Before we dive into the hole that is broadcast satellite F-Zero Grand Prix 2, let's get a deeper appreciation of what Mode 7 truly is. Mm -hmm. Can I please sit this one out? No. No, no absolutely no. not. No. So Mode 7 was a neat trick that allowed game designers to top-down design their game levels, but then activate Mode 7, so instead of moving up, it looked like you moved forward. Now, this doesn't look terribly realistic, but if you add a nice little like skyline back there that turns as you turn with the game, it works so much better. And that was the magic of Mode 7. The owl is watching you. So here we go. This is the second half of the F-Zero sequel. There was a game before this, and this just happens to be the second uh, part of the broadcast of the sequel on the Satellaview. Also, not a lot of options here, just like before. I'm going to go with the old Falcon. Now, as you can see here, there's only the Ace League, supposedly. Supposedly, we don't know this for sure. There were more leagues, but this ROM just happens to not have them, I guess. But really, once you've got Ace, what once else you've got do you need? There's no going back. Yeah, no. It's all right, Tony. Nintendo of America will release all of those other races one day. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> they'll, they'll do it through the, the virtual console, right? Mmm. Here we go. These are neat redesigns for the uh, old tried and true ships. Mm -hmm. Boom! Oh. Boom! Oh, shit! The secret here is to avoid that last one so you can do this turn properly. Mm. So this came out on the Satellaview. Like we said, it never came out in any sort of physical form. What was the Satellaview? So the Satellaview was an add-on to the Super Famicom that used the broadcast satellite. Mm -hmm. A specific satellite that was geosynchronous above Japan. Mm -hmm. It was mostly used for TV, not so much telecom. But if you had the BS add-on for the Super Famicom, mm -hmm. you could download games like this to a little like flash card, essentially. You can only do that one with a boost. Can I... Geosync above <laughs> you, Sean. Geosync all over, Tony. <laughs> what? <laughs> so really, the Satellaview provided a great opportunity for Nintendo to avoid the cost of cartridges when releasing minor expansions to some previous titles, like Chrono Trigger, A Link to the Past, F-Zero, all had these little sort of side games released on the Satellaview. Mm -hmm. And all Nintendo had to do was commit to a multi-million dollar satellite that they had to launch into space. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the infrastructure was already there. Yeah, for Japan, they already had their geosynchronous satellite. Mm -hmm. There would have had to have been dozens of them to cover the US, which is so much larger. It would have cost probably a half billion dollars to make the same sort yeah. of infrastructure. There was just no way, so we didn't get the games. Mm -hmm. Don't ask Nintendo of America to try and figure out some sort of phone modem system. No. That would require Nintendo of America getting off their lazy asses. <laughs> like, that will never happen. No. And there's certainly never been a cartridge in the U.S. that's, you know, used a modem. Uh -huh. Never. Oh wait, the X-Band. What do we think about this game graphically? Musically, it's pretty much the same, but graphically, what do we think here? Really, I think the most significant difference is in the vehicle sprites. Mm -hmm. They're bigger, they've got more details, they're more vehicle. Really. <laughs> yeah, they really they are. They do look a little bit better. But the tracks themselves and the backgrounds, they look pretty darn close to F-01. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I think that's primarily because it was released by a Satellaview. If it was released by a cartridge, they could have utilized the Super FX chip or the Super FX chip 2 and really Ooh. done something very cool. That would have cool. been tasty. Let's, this game was released in 1997. What was yep. out during 1997? the N64, so this was a very late game, and it really could have been something very, very special had it been released on a cartridge, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So what can you really say about BSF-Zero? Yeah, it plays like an F-Zero game, it's fun to play, but at the same time, 
it's not much different either, and mm -hmm. there are only five levels. And strangely, there are actually a lot of titles in this series we just did never receive. We never got the first two BS games, we never mm -hmm. got the N64 expansion kit. I mean, it's weird because it's like, if, imagine if we didn't get Mario Galaxy oh, or Yoshi's oh. Island. For a major Nintendo title, it's a little bit strange. But, guys, I finally got to pull one over on my sister. I oh, beat her at this. Nice. It's just like oh, that yeah. time I went out in public with the trench coat on. Everybody oh, thought man. I was naked. I'm going to cut the mic. Here, really? John. I'm really cutting the mic.